In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to run a triangle read concept really out of any play. It doesn't really matter. You only need one specific route. Um, we're going to be showing it to you out of the gun cluster. We've been doing a pretty uh, decent little mini scheme here out of the gun cluster for you guys over the last couple of days. And I uh, wanted to kind of bring you into some of this triangle read stuff that I love to teach. Uh, so basically the play is going to be spacing out of the gun cluster. This is in the Arizona Cardinals playbook. And what we're going to be trying to do with this is we've got a lot of plays in the formation that are really good at attacking the sidelines. For example, this play PA read is really good at attacking this uh, middle of the field, but as well attacking this left sideline because we're trying to get over in that little pocket uh, with the passing trajectory of the ball. We also have other plays um, that we've talked about here where we're going to attack maybe this left sideline. You know, and again, it can look something like this. So now, or I'm sorry, the right sideline. So you see here, we're going to be trying to attack the right sideline with that corner route. We might not put that post route out there, but whatever. Okay, so you, you see the idea. Um, another route combo that we have uh, that we or that we have in here would be basically, you know, something like something like this mesh post style play where we're going to use a motion slant. We but again, the idea here is this is going to go over in that window. So one of the things that our opponent is going to do to try to defend us, especially if we're able to beat man coverage at a pretty high level, is they're going to go to a coverage that basically looks like this. This is a double flat coverage with the user in the middle of the field, and they might have a vert hook. Okay. So what I want to do to set this play up is we're going to slant our uh, slot receiver, and then we're going to post our uh, solo receiver and this is the simple setup now the other thing you can do if you're not worried about the blitz is either put your running back on a ghost route or put your running back on a table route or put him on an out route either one of those three options your first read is always your quick flat if that's not there you're going to progress to your hitch and then as you can see with these flat routes it's really going to open up the throwing lanes in the middle of the field where their user is going to have to cover from numbers to numbers to be able to defend this. Now, let's say that you get a blitz. So if we get a blitz here, typically this is how people like to blitz you because it takes away the flats on both sides and the users in the middle of the field. So what will typically happen in a play setup like this, this is why we want to read our flat to our hitch first because our flat will be covered and then we can throw the hitch right in that little window, just like that. Now, if you have a flat route, you can run this play. So we could run this play out of mesh, for example, uh, because we have a flat route. So what we're gonna do in this version of it is we're gonna hitch the circle receiver, we're gonna slant the uh, tight end, and then we're gonna post this guy right here. Now this is also really good against main coverage, why? Well, because we have a slant post concept. The other reason why this is really good against man, especially against, you know, like a send five pressure, something like this or dollar, any of that stuff, is because in a lot of these formations, the tight end is going to be manned up by the safety. And so I can quick throw this tight end out flat. And a lot of times I can break a tackle just quick throwing, uh, quick throwing these flat routes. And I can do this, like here's cover one. Watch uh, Revis just high point that flat, get out there, and you see how effective the, the high ball flat can be against man this year. So now they have to, you know, go into coverages. Um, the other thing about this is it's really good against a lot of the popular ways people like to play zone because most people don't defend that these little, these little hitches right here. And this specific hitch um, is really good because it's a little bit angled to the sideline. So in the example of like a Tampa 2, if you watch this vertical hook over here on the right, what you're going to notice is this vertical hook will kind of go inside with the slant for a second. You see how there's that little window over there? That's because of that, that little angle that he takes. Now, if this was a regular hitch, you can still run the concept and it still works, but the regular hitch isn't as effective as the um the little spacing hitch and i'll show you why here uh with this call so what you'll see so you see how he goes angled out to the right we do it like this 
Now watch this hitch. This vertical hook will sit right there and he'll take that away. So the little angled out hitch route is really good because there's not a lot that's gonna play that angled out hitch route. So that's just kind of something you wanna know um, in terms of just how routes work, especially if you run this with your cluster to the short side, you just see he gets in this little spot uh, that is really difficult to defend. Now, the other thing that's really good about this is, so let's say they do, they do guard that. So, you know, they do something like this, double flat over here, roll the coverage, and they got this guy here. And to make this kind of point, we're gonna pretend like this guy's gonna take the slant, okay? So all in all, this is probably the best way to defend this play. If they do this, what will happen is you can throw this and you're just going to come back to the ball before it gets to the safeties. The yellow zone will suck down to the hitch and you can throw this underneath uh, just like we did right there. Another way that you can kind of utilize this is you could run it like this as well. Uh, this is a different, an alternate version. This is a little bit more zone friendly. And we're going to also isolate the running back a lot of people don't have deep route KO anymore on their corners or uh, on their linebackers. So this could be a pretty advantageous route combination, this wheel. You'll see here, like if I freeform high point that wheel, it's really hard to defend that. Okay. So this is the play spacing, a triangular read concept. If you want to learn more about offenses like this, join the Patreon for just $10. Get you access to all of our ebooks, everything for just $10. You can sign up by heading down to the description and clicking the link down below.